Welcome to two examples of determining the least possible degree of a polynomial function from the graph of the function. These questions emphasize what the degree of a function tell us about the graph of the function. So to review, if a polynomial function has degree n, then the function has at most n x-intercepts, and the function has at most n minus one turns. Looking at the graph of our polynomial function, Notice how it has two x-intercepts, so it must be at least a degree two polynomial function. But now let's take a look at the number of turns the function has. The function has a turn here, one, a turn here, that's two, and also a turn here, so it has three turns. When a function turns, we have a high point or a low point on the graph of the function. Well, if there are at most n minus one turns, and we have three turns, then our degree n must be at least four. So by the graph of this polynomial function, we know the least possible degree would be a fourth degree polynomial function. Let's take a look at a second example. Again, our graph has one x-intercept, so the graph must be at least a degree one, but we know it has to be higher than that because a degree one function would be a line. So let's take a look at the number of turns. Well, this polynomial function has one two turns, and again, each polynomial function has at most n minus one turns, so n, the degree, must be at least three if this function has two turns. So the least possible degree for this polynomial function would be a third degree polynomial function.